Assalamun alaikum. Peace be with you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. My name is Ayub Karim. Welcome to my channel, Quran Inspires Me. We are aware of a lot of rituals and practices in Sunnism that are somehow being misinterpreted or deliberately have the meaning of certain words changed to suit their ulterior motives. So I am doing this short video to highlight some of these words and meanings that have been misconstrued to mean something else other than what the Quran states. Let us begin with the most important one. The word Maulana has been hijacked for themselves, whereby we were taught to address the Sunni ulama as Maulana. This is absolutely anti-Quranic, which has been fostered upon us. I advise all to refrain from addressing these Dudwalas as Maulanas, which they have hijacked for themselves. Maybe in doing so, they thought they would become gods. They have not become gods, but the Sunnis let them control their lives as if they are God. The next one that is of top priority is the Quran. But all Sunnis would rather adhere to the ahadith of men rather than the ahadith of Allah. Allah refers to the Quran as Ahsan al-Hadith, which means the best hadith. The Sunnis prefer the ahadith of the Sahih Sittarian. This means that they reject the hadith of Allah in favor of man-made hadith. And in doing so, they have hijacked the word hadith for themselves and made the Quran redundant. So the ordinary Sunni, the layman, cannot see the switch from Allah's hadith to man-made hadith. The Quran has also been hijacked and declared a book for recitation to gain sawab for blessings and the Quran is totally ignored for its guidance. So this guidance from the Quran is now hijacked by their man-made ahadith because most Sunnis draw the guidance from their man-made ahadith. Before I continue, I appeal to you to please subscribe, share, like and comment. Also, please hit the notification bell so that you will be informed of my next video upload. Your participation in this regard will help. Thank you. The next one is the word Islam. How? The word Islam means peace or a state of being and was never referred to as a religion. Allah has given a deen, a prescribed way of life. But Sunnis hijacked the word Islam and made it into a religion. Islam during the lifetime of the Prophet was never a religion, but the Sunnis hijacked it into a religious cult. Yet again, another successful hijacking by the Sunnis. Now this very important action that was hijacked to mean something else is Salah, which was termed Namaz. And now they say the correct terminology is Salah for the ritual prayer called Namaz. Now the word Salah is also hijacked to represent a meaningless, mindless ritual. Now in the Quran, Zakah in most cases always goes with Salah. Salah, as I mentioned, was hijacked and so is the term Zakah. Zakah means to keep Salah pure, unadulterated. But the Sunnis hijack this concept to mean charity. I wonder how much of this charity they themselves are hijacking. Now this one is totally ridiculous, but somehow it has been made to be so important that almost every Sunni does this. The Tasbih of the Quran is not for ritualistic incantation, like that of the rosary beads, but rather meaning glorifying Allah in action rather than in mere lip service. So the word Tasbih has been hijacked to mean rosary beads. The next one is, there is only one Eid mentioned in the Quran. In Surah 5, verse 114, which I would say refers to the dua of Prophet Jesus, Nabi Isa, for a festival. This concept is now hijacked and doubled to give the Sunni world Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha. This is another splendid feat of a double hijacking. Next, the concept of masjid is a sanctuary, a place of safety and to conduct community salah. 
but yet again this is hijacked to a mosque which now means or implies a place of worship and a men only prayer club during the lifetime of prophet muhammad the masjid was used as a central point to conduct and direct all community affairs but these days each sunni sect has their own mosque with little community directives or with no community activities at all then they hijacked the gathering juma and turned it into a meaningless ritualistic prayer that has no bearing on the community and its welfare these are just a few of the concepts that have been hijacked but there are many many more so the hijacking of these words is the strategy the so called sunni ulama use to keep the ordinary sunni the layman the ordinary sunni away from understanding the quran that is the objective and i believe that they are successful because the sunnis are not really keen or interested in understanding the quran they are quite content with the manner in which they are controlled by the so called sunni ulama so we read in surah 2 verse 104 يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَقُولُوا رَائِنَا وَقَوْلُوا أُنْزُرْنَا وَاسْمَعُوا وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Oh you who are secured never say to the prophet رَائِنَا listen to us instead say أُنْزُرْنَا grant us attention and then listen intently there is a painful consequence for the rejectors of divine commands this phrase Ya ayyuha allazina amanu is generally but inaccurately translated as o you who believe or o believers other translations o you of faith or o faithful etc firstly amanu is a verb so the correct translation for this word would read o you who are secured secondly attaining to a state of being secured in the quran and allah must be an act consciously undertaken after due reflection with the free will passive faith such as claiming to be a believer by birth has no merit in the sight of allah also choosing to believe in truth is a great blessing of allah are you of those that enjoy this great blessing of allah until my next video i am ayub karim from quran inspires me understand the quran to experience the revelation salamun alaikum Peace be with you.